Hello Crofters and welcome to another Creative Expressions Treasure Chest event and we've got a fantastic haul for you today. It really is a magnificent uh, treasure chest full of uh, real crafting goodies I'm going to share with you in just a few moments time. But uh, before I do, please don't forget to subscribe, follow and like what you're watching here across the social media events with Creative Expressions and myself, James Hembro, with you today. Um, it's something I always like to do is to bring these different special deals to you. All the links below, um, please use those to take you straight to the Creative Expressions um, Treasure Chest web page um, where you'll get this fantastic deal. And it is available right this very moment. And it's until stocks last. And I said this is a, a great little hoard of goodies that we brought to you today. So the RRP of this is a massive £86.93. But you're not going to pay anything like that. You already know if you've watched me before, it's going to be an awful lot less. It's actually going to be over 70% off on this bundle uh, today. So let's Let's have a look at what it is and as we have a, a little look inside the treasure chest i will tell you how much all of these crafting goodies are going to cost you this is just 24 pounds and 99p and yes the link is below right this very moment it's live it takes you straight to the site and you can purchase all these crafting goodies that you can see so let me take you through what you're getting because you're getting an awful awful lot this time still over 70 percent saving though so you've got this amazing range of craft dies here, 19 dies in total. These are all fantastic stitched elements that you've got this lovely stitched design around the outside of each die that you'll see in some of the samples in a moment. So this is a real essential uh, collection from um, Lisa there. And we've also got a planning essentials range of stamps by Helen Colebrook. These are clear stamps giving you all the days of the week, months of the year, and also a few little to do's, don't forget goals and reviews. These are perfect, absolutely essential for your planning, your journaling, also maybe making some calendars and even using them maybe for the months of birthdays and days of birthdays or maybe newborns. So, so much you can do with those as well. We've also got two other clear stamp sets. These are absolutely massive, uh, butterfly journaling and bird journaling. All of these amazing designs, if I flip them over, you can see here, they are all really huge, good quality, uh, perfect polymer clear stamps for uh, playing straight onto whatever your chosen stamping platform is. Uh, there's a massive range of stamps in both of these. Um, I'm just going to open up one, let's have a little look, because it's not just what you can see there, it's what's below as well. If I flip them over, look at these lovely doodle designs. They're absolutely perfect for your journaling, your scrapbooking, also just for a little bit of a different technique for the front of your cards. Really nice sort of thought-provoking little sentiments. Also great for maybe inserts for your cards as well. So whether you're card making, scrapbooking, journaling, great, great range right the way across here as well. So let me just pop that one down. We've also got a uh, country pad, uh, country garden paper pad. Now, this is another stunning design from Helen Colebrook, one of our designers here, guest designers from Pretty Expressions. And this is a 150 GSM, it's eight by eight paper pad. And I just want to flick you through. So single sided, so you don't have to choose which side you want to use. You're getting the uh, a range of designs and multiple times right the way across the paper pad. So you can use all of these again for your card background, just stamping. Love that, for that sort of inky background technique. All of these are really nice and generic, but also, uh, some nice real mix of floors. So maybe you want that combination of that nice background with a floor design in the same colorway. It works absolutely perfect. And talking of colorways, to go with this paper pad, we've also got included, really is a huge, huge bundle we've got on today's treasure chest event, are these set of three, again by Helen, Helen Colebrook, in these designs that match in with these paper pads, washi tapes. And we've got this really, really ultra wide design one here which is nearly two inches, about one and a half inches across, just over in the washi tape. I'll show you some different things you can do with those in a minute. And also two of the narrower ones, again, in the designs. So let me just pop those all to one side. And I've opened everything up <laughs> and I'll show you some of the design samples. So you're getting all of those bits and pieces and 
the cosmic shimmer color cloud now these are absolutely amazing i love these these are one of my favorite color clouds there's so much you can do with them uh, we've got the fresh grass the purple paradise and the decadent grape color ranges i will show you more of these in a moment uh, when we have a bit of a play with those but there's so much you can do with them so let's have a look at what some of our design team members have been up to so we've got some fantastic little designs massive shout out and thank you to our design team for these cards um it's your birthday we've got these backing papers here and the design has gone ahead and used things like the november december they've actually popped the months on there so maybe if it's a birthday in november absolutely perfect just like i was saying you can use those for your designs backing papers and then going over the top with some of the cosmic shimmer products to enhance the papers um, maybe taking something like this really nice card the days of the week kind of months of the year um, really nice background all blended together using various colors of color cloud because um, it's a huge family of colors that we've got in the color cloud also nice keepsakes and also calendars and giveaways and gifts. Look at this. It's a lovely um, stand up uh, sort of desk tidy with a, a little tray there with some post-it notes and also the stamp sets are included here. The don't forget as well. And these backing papers are all included. These are additional stamps that have been pulled in from some of the Creative Expression stamp range, which just shows you just the papers alone and the stamps, what you can do with this little bundle. Let's have a closer look at some of the cards that you can make just using the background papers. This is using background papers all torn up. Lovely, lovely, fantastic little designs here. Massive shout out to Christine Smith. Thank you for these, these are lovely. Backing papers again, just really simple, clean, tidy uh, designs. This is using the uh, stitch essential elements that I showed you in the die. Um, you can see that lovely stitch design out of there. Some of the stamps that we got in the journey. And again, those background papers that were the inky background effects. This is using those three colour clouds that I'll be showing you in a moment with the days of the month around there, or the months of the year rather, uh, around the outside of the card. And again, one of those lovely sentiment stamps in the middle. Really like the different designs here, using the paper pads with those essential stitched elements that we've got there. You can see the little offset square there coming into play. Just so much you can do with this. This is just card fronts. This could be backgrounds for scrapbooking, could be for your journals, for your planners. This could be like a, a New Year's card, I think um, Christine was going for here, the idea of sort of January goals and uh, sort of holding on to that thought, I think, is the idea with this. I think that's really, really nice what she's done there. And this is using the washi tape. So you've got the washi tape here and all of these little washi tape elements here as well. Really novel ideas from Christine. So thank you for all of those. I think it just shows you, just using the tapes and the papers, what you can actually achieve. So let's pop those to one side. I think that's given you a huge amount of inspiration of what you can actually do using these bits and pieces that are in front of you. I'm just going to pop all of these bits to one side because I want to have a closer look at the colour cloud and also some of the washi tape as well in a moment and just show you some of the things that you can do with these amazing products. So let's start by having a play with the, the colour cloud, I think, to start off with. So let's just have a look at what these colours are. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the Purple Paradise. I'm using the smoothies. Now, the link will be below for the smoothies from the Creative Expressions website. These work perfectly with the colour cloud. Now, if you've not seen the colour clouds before, I'm going to show you in just a moment how they look inside the pots. But I just wanted to show you how striking these colours were just to begin with. So I'm just going to pop the three colours down onto some bright white cardstock so you can see what you're getting in this bundle. So don't forget, this is a huge haul here. It's £86.93 pence normally uh, is the RRP for everything I'm showing you here. Um, but it's just £24.99 over on the Creative Expressions website at this very moment whilst stocks last. So there's our three colours. We've got the Purple Paradise at this end. We've got the uh, fresh grass there in the middle and also the decadent grape. And this is how those colours will look. So when they come to you, they'll actually come like these. And I just wanted to show these. Come with a foil top. So you just break into that, go around carefully with a, with a knife or peel it off, and then you're good to go. And what you get inside, that just seals in all the ink, keeps it nice and fresh, and then you get these foam pads. So you get this huge jar of, uh, of ink, it's 38 grams of uh, product in there. You get this donut of foam in the bottom and a felt, ta uh, felt top to the inside of the jar. What that means is you can take your smoothie here, place it down into the middle of your pot, push down and the ink gets charged 
onto the smoothie just like that and it fits in perfectly in that ring of donut underneath the felt and that is what gives you the transfer of the ink and it works so so well so let me just pop those back to one side while we work with these and i just want to show you how if i work those colors together how we can blend them together really really quickly so let's just bring in uh just a couple of colors very quickly and show you how you can blend these out so just using the ink that i've got on the smoothie you can go out to a nice white blend on here really quickly. I'm just putting circle motions. And as I move down the cardstock, I'm just applying a little less pressure as the product that's on the smoothie just starts to um, starts to run out, if you like, until I need to recharge it in the pot. Get a lovely, lovely fade like that. And if I work it from the other side using the decadent gray, we can do exactly the same technique. Now, what these color clowns have is they have a, a special polymer in them without getting too too technical, which basically gives it an extended drying time. This is what makes them, in my uh, opinion, one of the best blending inks you can possibly get. It makes it so, so easy to create really subtle ombre effects and blends, just like I've done there across that two uh, tone effect. Now we could even add in a third color. And the nice thing with these, because they're dye based, they are transparent, they will layer over the top of each other, and it means you can mix the colours together. So I can start mixing in these purples and greens and getting in a really nice range of ombre effects and colours, just like we saw in one of Christine's uh, demo cards that we had with the different backgrounds. So you can create a really nice effect like that. Now, when that's dry, because of the extended drying time, it will completely mat out and you get this real sort of seamless fade from one end to the other. And it looks absolutely amazing. You can edge your cards with it like I'm showing there as well. Lots and lots of different techniques that you can do with those three color clouds, just purely on the blending alone. Now they are water-based, so to clean that up off your craft sheet is dead easy. Um, all you need is a little bit of uh, water, and I just tend to literally use my little spritz, spray it down like that, bit of towel, and lift off the excess and then you can, uh, you're can you good to go then basically. So using it in various different ways, um, I'll just show you a couple of techniques. We could go in here, use the decadent grape. We could go, I've got some embossed card here. And the nice thing, using this with the smoothies, you can go around the edge of your embossed card. And I love this, this is one of our rose designs that we've got. Obviously it works with absolutely any embossing folder whatsoever. The 3D ones do work really, really well with this. They give you a little bit of more, more texture to play with but you'll find that these color clouds are a great way of working. And it just creates this real nice halo effect in the middle of your embossing folder. And you can see how quick I've achieved that. Just going around that embossing folder like that, I've got a lovely fade and you can put a topper in the middle and it really shows you what you can do. Look at the detail that embossing uh, folder has brought out with the color cloud. It looks absolutely fantastic. Now you can stamp with the color cloud as well, just like you would on any rubber stamp, clear polymer stamp. Um, you don't need to really spray them with water. Um, they are water based, so you can just put them on like that. If you want to have a more water color effect, you can spray them with water and it will then start to wick out, but you can get a lovely effect with the stamping. You can also stencil with them as well. Um, just like you would with any kind of dye based ink. So I can take one of our uh, woodware stencils that we've got here, go straight through the stencil with our smoothie and just blend a couple of colors together through that. And you can see the technique that you're gonna create quite quickly and easily if I just show you those couple of colors there, the sort of technique that we're going to achieve. And if you do that over the whole of the cardstock, you can create something really, really nice. Again, just using these. So you can stamp with them, blend with them, you can stencil with them and you can also paint with them. So I've got a couple of stamps here from the Helen Colbrook uh, range and the journaling range that we had. And I've got one of my water brushes. So how I would do this, I would, I would just literally take my smoothie, pop a little bit of ink onto my craft sheet. Uh, we take a couple of colors. So I've got the purple going with the fresh grass there as well. Add a little bit of water from a water brush. The links for these will be below as well, along with this bundle and I can now go into there and go straight over the top of my stamped image and just add in a little bit of detail so again because they're water based dead easy to add a bit of color into those let's go in with a purple as well just to give you the idea I'm just gonna color in a couple of areas now I've actually heat embossed these stamps with some um, black embossing powder and that resists the color so it makes it very easy to color in and keep those nice black lines really fresh and crisp as well. 
So that just shows you another technique. And I do lose myself for my coloring. I can sit there and paint all day, but there you go. Water coloring, really nice effects. And obviously, just like any other watercolors, uh, same rules apply. The more color you want, um, add less water, and the more washed out and sort of watery and watercolor you want, add a little bit more water, and it will just thin out that color uh, for you. So you can also do a similar technique uh, using that stamp. Um, one of the really nice effects you can do with these, and I, I think it's so stunning. I'm just gonna just gonna show you. Um, white uh, embossing, uh, white card with some embossed design on it. I'm going to show you what that design is. I'm just going to go over the top with, with my smoothie and I'm going to create a blend like you saw me do at the top of this demonstration. And you can see how you get the design come through because the color clouds being water-based, being dye-based, are resisted off of the white embossing powder. So what we've got there is some white embossing powder. I've heat embossed first onto the white cardstock. So the design was hidden there until I created that ombre effect blend over the top. So I can just carry on working that up. You saw how quick that was, but I can go back over with a second run and then start to darken that top area and then start to blend those two colors together in the middle. And the great thing, it doesn't matter how many times I go over and work those colors up, I'm always gonna have that really crisp, sharp image. Look how stunning that design is there. So that's another technique you can do with these color clouds. They're also working exactly the same way with things uh, like some of the other Cosmic Shimmer products. So the glossy glazes that we do, they will also resist the color clouds. So you can do a really nice glossy glaze effect like this with the sort of hearts over the top. And then I'm just gonna go over the top and gradually fade out to white as we go to the bottom of our DL card. So you can see how quick it was to create something like that for the front of a DL card. Again, using these color clouds, absolutely stunning. And the longer that stays, it will just gradually dry and blend in your card stock, creating an eff absolutely effortless um, effect when you blend with a polymer in it. Another thing you can do with them very, very quickly, because so much with our color clouds you can do, is you can actually color up your cardstock like I've done here. This, believe it or not, it's just a white piece of cardstock completely colored with the um, decadent grape uh, color, I believe it was, that I put over this one. You can see how you can make your own matte cardstock as well. Great for matte and layering. If you wanted to go ahead, maybe, and take that stencil that we did earlier, just have a little edge to your card. You can see how you can get your matching color come in. So you can even color your cardstock so you've got all your ranges of cardstock that you need to match your color clouds. But if I was to spray this ever so lightly with water and then just go in and just pop some, some little water droplets over the top of that, even though that's been done, I think I've done that a couple of days ago. Um, that there shows you how that water is going to soak into there. And then I'm just going to go in and it's going to gradually uh, bleach the effect there. So if I now go and take that water off, what that will do, I'm going to come back and have a little look at that at the end in a moment. I'll show you how that will bleach the cardstock and you'll get a really nice background with a sort of different darker and lighter areas. And that's again because it's water reactive as well. So it's another little technique that you can do with these color clouds. There really is so, so much that you can do with them. So what I want to do is just pop that to one side. We'll come back to that in a moment. And I'll just show you one final little idea. This is using the washi tape that we got there from Helen Colebrook, the designs, and all I've done is layered it over the top of a piece of white cardstock, just cut out like that, and then I went ahead and went over the top with my colour clouds. I peeled off the tape, almost like masking tape, at different levels to reveal things, and even left some of it in there. Because, believe it or not, these masking tapes, or these washi tapes rather, will actually resist colour clouds. So if I go over the top of this, you can see there how I'm darkening around the edge of that mask tape or washi tape but the washi tape staying completely and utterly clear of that dye based ink but I've still applied the product either side of it so that's how you can create some really unique and different backgrounds using a combination of the tapes with the color clouds as well so so much you can do with that you can see here if I bring this one back in how that's now starting to dry out you can obviously heat set this as well you just get this very very subtle it's not 
too easy to pick out on the camera there, but as it dries, you get this sort of spray mottled effect. And it's just basically a water resist sort of technique using dye base. And it just looks absolutely stunning. So that's just the three color clouds that we've been looking. I say just because there's so much you can do with them. But don't forget, those are included in today's bundle. We've got that amazing die set, the essential um, stitched elements that I was showing you. We've got the essential planning. We've also got another clear stamp set there of the bird journaling, the butterfly journaling as well. We've got the Country Garden 8x8 paper pad by Helen Colebrook um, that's designed those for us along with these tapes that I'll pop there as well. So you get all of that bundle there with all of these products I've just been showing you for just an amazing price of $24.99. Everything in here is included with amazing 70% off of today's treasure chest event. So make sure you head over to the Creative Expressions website right now. It's whilst stocks last for this amazing bundle I'm showing you. There is so much you can do with it. There's only a little piece I can show you, but hopefully I've given you a few inspirational ideas, a few little techniques and tips that you can use. And also our design team with their amazing cards have also got you really inspired to go out there grab this bundle and have a load of crafty fun for just $24.99. So until next time, thank you ever so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, follow, tell everybody about us. And uh, I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. But until then, happy crafting.